Meg. I am the Adult Services Librarian at the Azle Memorial Library, and I am here to talk about some of our new releases that I'm most excited about. Uh, the first one is Big Little Lies by Leanne Moriarty. And I grabbed this and could not not read it because I loved her previous one, which was The Husband's Secret. And this starts with the murder, so there's a little bit of a mystery at the beginning, um, and then it kind of goes back and forth in time. And it's set in a preschool in Australia, and there's backstabbing and gossip and a lot of drama. And it sounds like probably a beach read, but the great thing about Leanne Moriarty, her genius, is that she makes you think. Um, I'm reading her books and it seems like it's the sugary sweet treat, treat that you kind of just gobble up and forget about, but she makes me stop while I'm reading and think about things, which I love that. So, the next book is Somewhere Safe with Somebody Good by Jan Karen. This is my favorite. She is probably my favorite author writing today. She is just consistently fabulous. Um, she writes a series set in a small, um, very charming town in North Carolina that features an Episcopalian priest named Father Tim. And it's everyday people living very ordinary lives. Um, but the beauty of her writing is that she creates this world that you don't ever want to leave. You want to just stay and inhabit that with the characters. Um, and I think it always restores my faith in humanity. She. I leave a book feeling very uplifted. Station 11 is the next one, and that's Emily St. John Mendel. And this book has just generated a crazy amount of buzz. Um, every blog I go to, every website, everybody I talk to in the library world is buzzing about this book. It was a 2014 National Book Award finalist this year, and it's relevant because of the Ebola virus, unfortunately. Um, in the book, civilization as we know it ends because of something called the Georgia flu. And these people who are, these few people that are left um, physically unscathed from the virus, they have to construct this world from what, from what is left. And so far, I read it last night and couldn't put it down, and I want to go home now and finish it. Um, it's just been engrossing and this lovely, lovely read so far. So I'm very excited about this one. The final one is called The Children Act by Ian McEwen. And he, of course, wrote Atonement, which was a famous book and then made into a, a famous movie. Um, and I hadn't read him before. I was excited to finally read him, and I loved this book. It's about a judge, um, a woman in London, who at the beginning of the book kind of has a train wreck of a personal life. Her husband of 30 years comes in and announces that he, in fact, wants an open marriage. He wants to have an affair. So a poor thing is dealing with that. And then um, she has a particularly thorny case at work where there's um, a young boy. He's kind of a prodigy. He's very brilliant and precocious. And he decides, because of religious reasons, that he's going to reject this very necessary life-saving blood transfusion. So she has to make a decision in that case. The great thing about the book um, is that I found myself, in many places throughout the book, putting myself in her shoes. You know, if I had to make these decisions, what would I decide? And I love a book that makes you think. And that's it. Thank you.